Hey guys, another beautiful day in the Valley of the Sun. Welcome back to our simple adventures. Um, yeah, you can see I got my radio sweatshirt on, so it's, it's chilly. It's, uh, what is it, the second week? It's a February 20th, and we got a high in the mid-50s, so that's chilly here in Arizona. Anyway, we've got another car project here today. It's just one thing after another, but but that's okay. I mean, we can, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, you guys can do it, too. Uh, but anyway... My wife's uh, 05 uh, uh, V6 Mustangs, 4 liter V6. Uh, um, yeah, it's not a GT, but she has a lot of fun with that convertible and it's a good looking car. That thing's cherry, look at that. It's cherry. Let's, uh, let's, let me show you what we're doing here. We got a coolant leak. We're getting some antifreeze on the floor of the garage. So I went and rented. You can't even say it's rented. I borrowed this from AutoZone. Um, yeah, I, I had to uh, dish out like 250 bucks, something like that, with, with, with tax. But our local auto zone will rent, you know, in quotes, this to you or borrow it to you. But all I got to do is take that back within a few days and, uh, and they'll give me, refund me all my money. So give me just a minute to get this out and we'll, we'll do a, a short video on how to pressure test the coolant system to see if we can pinpoint where the coolant is leaking from, from whether it's the radiator, water pump, uh, hose, or God forbid the head gasket or something like that. But I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've got our opened up here. Um, if you're not familiar with one of these kits, and they come in all different uh, sizes and varieties, you can see this has got 22 pieces. That means that it'll fit almost every vehicle made. Um, well, you know, that's probably an exaggeration, but uh, but quite a few vehicles. And if you go in here, um, kinda, this thing wants to fall off the... But uh, it tells you which vehicles each one of these fits. Uh, um, like this number three here. Number three, G GM, VW, Ford. And it doesn't tell you the year. But uh, and there's other ones that say Ford up here too. So you're just going to have to kind of eyeball what what you need. Um, but I've already kind of eyeballed, and this number three, which is number three right here, this yellow one, comes over here. And uh, what you do, the coolant tank. Now it's going to be different for every vehicle. Um, as you can see. This does not have a radiator cap. Um, so this is where you uh, do the pressure test. Otherwise you would do it on your radiator and pull the radiator cap off. But this fits perfectly on here. And this is real, real simple to use. I'm trying to hold the camera here at the same time. But this has got a little, a little pressure gauge on it. This fits on there like that, and then you you pump this up. But guess what? I'm ahead of you because I wanted to make a short video, and the and we're getting some air leak around the threads here. I could probably use, uh, what, what's that tape that plumbers use? Um, Teflon tape or whatever, whatever that's called. I could probably put some of that on here. But I'm going to show you something else in, in, that's in here. And this is why they call it universal. These deals right here. And I've already checked to see which one will, will fit here. But this you can you can see it's got all different sizes. Um, you know, well, it's it's a cone shape, so it'll slide down in there, and then these ridges will hold it in in either the radiator or in your in your in your uh, coolant tank here. But you just you turn this so you got the gap here, and that kind of makes it softer here. And a little bit thinner. Push that down in there. And don't jam it all the way down in there, but all you got to do is put it, get it in there snug. 
and then you twist this so that that expands this rubber and that seals tight and uh, so we'll be able to get a good good seal I've already tested it so let me uh, get get prepared here and we'll, I'll be right back with you Okay, you can see we're way up into the green there. Um, look, it looks like that's one p, fifteen psi. Um, they don't. Once you, you you get into the yellow and then the red, that's too much pressure. Um, like twenty, yeah, it looks like twenty, twenty-one psi on up. Uh, so don't go up that high. Just keep it in the green, and uh, this should be enough pressure. Uh, if you need to go higher, go a little higher, but just watch the yellow and the red. Um, now we're just gonna. Oh goodness, okay. I'm already seeing it down there. Oh wow. Okay, we, I think we definitely got a water pump here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna Look at the video to see exactly where it's coming from too, because I, all I can see is water dripping. This is awesome. These pressure testers. See, there's nothing uh, on the hoses, on the top side here. We're going to go underneath here in a second. Um, there's the uh, radiator inlet hose or water pump outlet right there. Nothing leaking there. We found it. Boy, this saved you so much time. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just verifying here. Let's see. Water pump attaches. So, uh, it does look a little wet right on the head there, where the head attaches to the block. It's not running out of there. That's on the water pump side. So, oh yeah, yeah, right here. Okay, you guys, it looks like I got a water pump. I see. I'll wipe that to see if it comes back. Okay, that's definitely not the major part of the leak. It must be kind of running over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We are going to do the water pump. And uh, let's get out of here. <clears throat> what happens when you get old and fat? Uh, but anyway, okay, guys. Um, I guess you might see a water pump video coming up here in the next. Kind of got to get it done now. You saw how bad that's leaking. Let's see if we lost any pressure. Maybe a tiny bit. Um, whoa! <laughs> awesome! You guys got that? We got that on camera. Wow! All right. Cool. I, I, that's the first time that I ever did that. But I must not have had this. Uh, twisted far so it was snugger in there but it was holding pressure wasn't it okay guys um cool uh thanks for watching our simple adventures we are planning our first camping trip with june bug here for a couple weekends and we're thinking down to yuma there's a lake down there 
Um, so, yeah, camping season's coming here. I know it's camping season all the, all the time in Arizona, but, but I get busy this time of the year with my job, and we are working to full-time RV. So look forward to that. And it won't be with Junebug. We're going to get either, either a, a travel, a, a, good, a, nice, a good size travel trailer, not, you know, not too big, but, or a, or a class C, thir or th under 30 foot. So thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we love you guys. Bless you all. Thanks. Bye.